Hey, what's up guys? BJ Dell back with an all new weekly art challenge review video. Last week's word was St. Bernard, so let's see what you guys came up with. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into today's video all about St. Bernard. And the first one is from Dawn. And Dawn's got a super cute design. I really like this one. Uh, it's very kind of basic and I think it works really well. This is definitely something that I think you could see like on greeting cards or in a children's illustrated book. And I like the line work around, kind of got almost a shakiness to this back line and around the tail. And it's just got a really kind of solid line weight, but it is thin, so I think it works. It doesn't really detract from the overall design. And I like it. It's got basic color work here. You got some shadows down here underneath the belly and around this bottom hind leg here that I think will work well to kind of develop that kind of uh, three-dimensional style to it. And that it does have some weight. Uh, the one thing I would do here on the snout, notice this is with the perspective and this side of the face being a little bit closer to the viewer is I would probably make this side a little bit larger than this side. I know it droops down here a little bit more, but since it doesn't have this cut here in the center, I would probably move that over a little bit and go ahead and do kind of a, just a basic line over there into the top part so if we move this over just a little bit i'll make this just a little bit bigger and then if we pull this line up here in the center towards the snout i think that would kind of break that up just a little bit more and kind of give it a little bit more of a perspective and make it a little bit more natural that was the only thing i saw with that there's just the the kind of break right there above the lips with no line going up to the the nose looked a little bit off so i think it's a really great design just paying a little bit uh, more attention to the perspective there would definitely make it pop just a little bit more so great job don thanks so much for sharing that this week next up is jose and jose's this week oh my goodness this is fantastic i love the texture that you used with the brush to kind of give this really painterly look and this is just amazing so one thing and like i mentioned in last week's video we owned a saint bernard before and saint bernards they, they're just so big they're just so kind of majestic and have this larger than life quality and i think jose really knocked that home with this one especially having it set you know across uh in front of the mountains here and i think it just really speaks volumes to the breed of the dog and like i said the overall painterly quality just building up this grass down here this kind of creek that comes up here and it's messy but it works so well and i love those textures that you use this is just mind-blowing it's so good i love this one so much so uh that's all i've got to say about that one is just man this one really impressed me this week jose so thanks so much for sharing that next up is carlos and like i just said there's you know a, a kind of majestic quality to the saint bernard but if you've owned one as they get older the other quality that you kind of recognize and you see is they become a giant fixture on your floor. They become a de facto rug that just sits in your living room. And this one, it just reminded me of when we had Blue, just the fact that she would lay and just plop herself down across the floor and just said, basically, this is where I'm at. So if you want to walk past me, then you're going to have to step over me. And I think this one really drives that home. I, I love the overall look of it and just the way that the St. Bernard is kind of laying here across the floor and the the overall shadows here are really nicely done i love that this kind of blends really well you've got a uh, a more of a brown here rather than just going in with the you know the usual drop in the black opacity down and i think that works really really good with this i i just love the overall design and the fact that it, it brings back so many memories of the dog just kind of giving that I don't care look. So this one, honestly, more than anything artistically wise, like it just really has the feeling of owning a St. Bernard, uh, which only St. Bernard owners can know. So uh, that one is so good this week, though, Carlos. So thanks so much for submitting that one. Next up is Peter. And this one is really, really great. I love the colors. So we've got a very like bright, warm color for the St. Bernard and the barrel. And you've got this really cool color back here for the background uh, with the, the snow falling. And I just think this one makes that pop so much. Having 
you know, that, that cool color on the back and bringing that warm color to the forefront. I also love the blur effect that was used. It's almost got a vignette type of feel to it to where as it comes down and around here, it blackens and kind of blurs up and around. And I think that is really well done. Uh, this is something I don't see a lot of and it really impressed me this week. Right next up, we've got Norman, and Norman has this fantastic cartoon, St. Bernard here. Really kind of has an animated feature film quality to it. Really kind of reminds me of Don Bluth's work. If you don't know who that is, did like Secret of Nim and a lot of like the, the video games like a Dragon's Lair and Space Ace and stuff like that. If you don't remember uh, American Tale and Fievel, and I think it really kind of reminds me of that style of work. So I love the character design. Line work is super fantastic. One thing we'll talk about here is I love and I'm a big fan of using, you know, non-black line work on certain designs. I use the, the black line work a lot in my videos but then also some of the ones I've shown to show you how to kind of change that up. Uh, the one thing here you really have to be careful with when you change the, the line color from black to a different color. Right here, this looks fantastic. So great against that white, so great against this brown color of the paws down here. However, once you move up into these darker colors, because this brown is so much lighter than this gray or off black of the ears this almost has a negative effect to the lines so one thing i would recommend is if you are going to go in with a different line color than black always make sure that your line color is darker than the darkest part of your color flats so that would kind of do away with this negative look here and the other thing too is to make sure, I, I know this here, you've got the brown around here and here. Uh, using the lines here, you've got a red, and here you've got a darker orange because of the barrel. But then up here around the, the gray of the nose, you've got a black. Well, over here, the gray of the ears or the off black of the ears and the eyes is actually darker than that nose. So I would definitely recommend using a darker color here and maybe tying that in just because the nose now sticks out so much more than everything else just because that's the only part that's outlined in black. Another thing to uh, kind of remember too is as far as perspective goes, We've got the, the dog sitting kind of almost in the three quarters perspective. And this paw here and this arm or this leg here is going to be the closest to the viewer. But yet this paw here is actually bigger than this paw here. So the one thing I would recommend doing too, just to keep perspective kind of intact is to kind of shrink this paw down. Bring it over here just so you can see how much bigger that one is. So this Paul needs to be quite a bit smaller just because it is sitting back there in the background. This one's in the foreground. So bringing it down to a smaller size is going to bring in the perspective a lot more. But a fantastic job, Norman. Thanks so much for sharing that one this week. All right, next up is Jessica, and Jessica has this super adorable St. Bernard, and I just want to read what Jessica accompanied the post with. She said, hey guys, this is my first post of the group and first challenge. Just want to say I love this community and seeing everyone's artwork. You're awesome, which she's right. You guys are awesome. Uh, I'm very new to drawing. I only started a few weeks ago, although I enjoyed drawing as a kid. I would love to hear what you think and if there's anything I can improve. So number one, only drawing for a few weeks. This is really, really great. I know um, just looking up at my monitor here, I'm not getting all the colors in as super dark as what she got them. They're super light colors, but because they're so light, you're kind of losing some of this. But I love this really kind of faded, uh, almost like a neutral type of color work that she did. The blue here is just really light. The green's really light. She used a really cool way to kind of break this up and around. So it's not a uh, background that goes, you know, from side to side, from border to border. And I think that works really well. I love, once again, just kind of a basic, you know, cartooning style. But I think this works really well. Once again, I could see this in a children's book. I could see this on a greeting card. And I think it has a lot of merit to it. So just a fantastic job. And Jessica, if you've only been drawing for a few weeks and you're able to do stuff like this, you've got a super good understanding already of color theory and what goes well with each other and just even the line work and everything like that, you're definitely on the right track. So this is fantastic. Keep up the good work. Can't wait to see more from you. 
All right, so next up is Caitlin, and Caitlin went with a Saint, Saint Bernard. So I'm always a sucker for puns, and I love kind of the play on words. And this one is just really cool, putting the dog breed into the role of a saint. I've got the hand gesture here, kind of mimicking what you see with the, the classic artwork of saints and holding the Bible here with the, the paw print. It's just fantastic. I just love the, the overall design and the humor behind this. And the composition itself is really good. I like the kind of tilted up head here, the really light halo here that's uh, very apparent in a lot of this type of artwork of the saints and, and religious pieces and the clouds here with the, the purple. And I like how you kind of went outside of the lines. You didn't have to keep this in the lines. Everything here just kind of plays off and goes off to the exterior of those lines. You didn't really worry about keeping it in. And I think that is really playful and it really works with the design. And that was nice to see just kind of that loose feel to it and the loose way of, of approaching the coloring, I think works really well for this design. So congratulations, such good work. Thanks so much for sharing that one this week, Caitlin. And last but not least, we've got Jamas and Jamas went with a very kind of bold in your face cartoony St. Bernard, which I think works really well. Got super thick outlines here, which I think for a design like this works well. It's, it's bold, it's in your face and it's done super, super well. Love the drool dripping off here because once again, if you've ever owned a St. Bernard, that's one of the things you have to deal with. It's a constant <laughs> battle. You're constantly wiping drool off of everything. Um, that was one of the things when we had our Saint, I had multiple speaker grills for my speakers that I had because no matter what, she would always go out to the kitchen, drink her water, come back in and then lay down in front of the speakers and shake her head and it would just be covered uh, with drool and water. And so I had multiple replacements just so I could swap them out because you couldn't always grab it when it happened. So the drool here, kudos on that drool there. I like too, cause uh, with St. Bernard's being, you know, kind of the, the, the rescue dogs and they've always kind of had that red cross feel to them. I love incorporating that on the earmuffs here. I think that was a really wise design choice. And I think that ties everything in plus having the red here as well and deciding to go with that route rather than the, the usual barrel around the neck uh, for that, I think was really cool. We still got the barrel down here, but I think it was cool to incorporate the, the red cross, uh, design up there. So just, like I said, a really kind of in your face, bold design. This one really reminds me of kind of flash art that you would see with tattoos and stuff like that, or, uh, stuff that would be on stickers. This one I could see with a, you know, a white outline that would just pop as a sticker. So fantastic job, Jamas. And that's it for this week's prompt St. Bernard. All right, guys, that's it for this week's video. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Also, special thanks goes out to everyone that submitted designs this week for this week's challenge. You guys rock, and I love seeing your stuff every week. If you guys want to take part in these challenges, post your work online. Join the Keep Creating group over on Facebook. I'll link it in the description below. That's how you take part in these challenges. And speaking of these challenges, last week's word was St. Bernard. So for this week, it's not really a word prompt, more of an idea. And that's bring an inanimate object to life. So closest way I can describe this is if you think about Beauty and the Beast and picture Lumiere or Mrs. Potts or Chip. I take something inanimate and bring it to life, give it a personality, post it over on Facebook, or you can also tag me on Twitter or Instagram. I want to see what you guys can do. So as for me, you can find me online, bjdell.com, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at bjdell. Usually I post these videos on Wednesday, but because next week is Christmas and Christmas falls on a Wednesday, next week's video will actually be on Thursday, the day after Christmas. So share away. I want to see what you guys can come up with. And as always, keep creating.